so I wanted to make this video for a while now but I never really made it and I'm still not sure when I'm gonna upload this like um, there are things you not like you don't know about me like it's not that so questions I often get I guess one is where I'm from well I'm pretty sure if you go on my channel it can see that it's pronounced as Hungary and it resembles Hungary <gasps> but it's still not that bad Turkey is like Turkey like yeah funny names and it's in middle Europe I live in middle Europe so yeah and I'm speaking originally one of the most hard languages in the world. Like, yeah. And I wouldn't want to learn it if I wouldn't be Hungarian. That's how I say Hungarian. And I'm from Hungary. And, like, really not that an important thing. Like, I don't really want to live my whole life here, though. And then my accent. I often get that I have a French accent. I'm assuming maybe I'm not saying proper R, uh, R, R. I can say it. It's not that I could always. But when once I had braces and not just normally, there was something like in the up there, and I just started to pronounce R. See, I'm not pronouncing it at a different place and that's the time when I learned to talk in English like I already knew but like really really like be fluent I learned so I guess that's why I'm speaking like that because in Hungarian I'm saying it better so now as you can see I don't have braces but I'm still trying to say the R at a different place where I, sh where I should, so that's why probably. If not, that's why you think that I have a French accent, then I have no idea. Since obviously I can't have a British accent because I never had British teachers. So, yeah, though we always learned British English. But yeah. And then, other. Um, uh, so I should have an American accent because I'm watching a lot of shows in Amer uh, which were made in America and with, with subtitles and without synchronization so I'm watching it in English so I should be speaking like that but obviously I can't <laughs> like there is no I don't think there is like people who can like just be can't speak to use that accent perfectly so I just can't I guess but still I tell you it's way better my accent than a normal Hungarian accent those are horrible and you don't want to hear that because my ears bleed and I just want to get out of the room and don't want to hear any of that like any of you here in Europe watch Eurovision like yeah the women who talks for uh, the woman who talks for us like pretty but that English is not English, so yeah. I just dislike my language's English accent the most in the whole world, I guess. Um, then, my name in YouTube, it should be like this. This is the part we probably can pronounce seven love, and this is you can't. Though I heard people who can. In my language, this is not a e or a, it's o. So you are probably unable to pronounce that. And this is, I know, you, you can pronounce it A, so Zafer. But it sounds horrible, I think. Zafer 7 Love. It sounds horrible, so Zafer 7 Love, I guess. Something like that. But, um, like, I don't know, I just can't really help with it. And then I explain it. So this is... Um, so I made this channel a long time ago, before K-pop, and before K-pop I was into horses, like, yeah. And this is the horse I learned the most from, 
She's there. She's the only horse I have pictures of. You can see it. Ooh. She's a she. And that's me. Like three years ago, something. She's the only horse I have still pictures in my room because I've ridden horses for like uh, four years when I got a horse and that horse is a bitch. So I hated her because she made me dislike the whole horsey thing so that's why I don't really like that horse plus this horse Zafir is dead so I kind of miss her and so without her I'm like not really in the mood to go to horseback riding any time in the future so yeah and this word means nothing in my language it's and we have a word like Zafir which is my horse's name so it's only instead of this you write an I here and it means sapphire like sapphire blue but this way this is kind of something like that that's sapphire I guess it means something like that and seven is my favorite number and love like I love sapphire I guess that's what it meant like back then when I did it I had a thing for putting the number in between two words like I used it like back then I had web page like when I was 12, but yeah, you know, I also wrote the number in the middle. So yeah, that's why it's a fair seven love. And well, my Twitter and Tumblr name is this fairy for me. So technically this is the name I'm using now, like using, though I still have Zafir seven loves like on SJ world and Asian fanfiction. I just mistyped it. So it's not that. So. So fairy for me, that means fairy stands for me, for my name, because my normal name means fairy in my language, which is Tinde, but it's like the normal name and you always have like kind of nicknames and that's Tindi. That's how I write it, Tindi. And this Wowl is like the French U, which you pronounce as U, or E Tuk's name, or Un Hyuk's name, and not U, U. And like you can pronounce these, just you would wrote it differently. So yeah, that's my name, Tundi, and it's like, though a lot of languages can pronounce it, but English is none of those, so of course they can learn, but I think it's kind of hard. Like, the whole the letters are means totally different sometimes, especially the wobbles, so that's why. So yeah, Zafir 7 Love, which is a so old name and I don't really like it, because every time I see it reminds me of her, so, but yeah, I got to live with it because I started to upload videos on this channel, <laughs> so I'm not gonna like, stop it right now, so. But yeah, um, I'd prefer fairy for me but now I'm gonna stay like this so yeah so that's my name Tundi and yeah Tundi and I don't like it like yeah but but it's like yeah so even my original channel name has something to do with Super Junior stuff here yeah pretty nice so thanks for watching and bye